Fox News and other key Republican officials lash out against New York, running to defend their criminal in chief, Donald Trump. Watch this. Uh huh. New York City's our home. That's why we let people crap on the sidewalk and hookers turn tricks in the vestibule of ATM machines. Really, it's your home? Your home is filthy and you're incompetent. People like Marjorie Taylor Greene, who was known to spread hate speech. Really, what's hate speech? Well, it's speech that certain politicians hate. That's all it is. There's no hate speech prescribed in the Constitution. That's completely made up. It's a power grab, of course. What you just saw was a recent clip from Tucker Carlson's segment on Fox News, where he went on a deranged and unfocused rant on Eric Adams, the mayor of my hometown, New York City. This was after a press release held by the mayor of the Big Apple, who addressed MTG and other extremists who were expected to show face in anticipation of Trump's arraignment, in light of criminal charges being brought up against him in the state earlier this year. Mayor Adams was rightfully concerned of MAGA pulling up to the scene and made sure to dole out a hearty warning against those Republican grifters, including to people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, calling her out by name and claiming that, that any and all instigators would be met with swift recourse. Uh, she stated she's coming to town. While you're in town, be on your best behavior. As always, we would not allow violence or vandalism of any kind. And if one is caught participating in any act of violence, they will be arrested and held accountable, no matter who you are. And I want to. And well, this did not bode well for the conservatives at Fox News, who then launched an all out assault on Eric Adams and New York in general, calling it unkept and dirty. And I mean, Sure, but it's home. It's home. It's dirty, but it's home. I take rat infested subways over whatever's happening at Florida any day. Regardless, it's important to note the hypocrisy and manufactured outrage from the Republican Party, who will continue to reverse engineer odd arguments and character assassinations to retaliate against those that dare hold Republicans accountable for their egregious crimes. And in true Republican fashion, it's somehow a conspiracy theory or some sort of manufactured ploy against Republicans. Republicans. But we know that this is clearly not the case. Ultimately, Republicans continue to show their true colors as they struggle to come to terms with the fact that their most beloved and well-known figure, Donald Trump, is going to jail. And it's his own fault. And maybe, just maybe, this is a floundering attempt of extremist Republicans that they too might be held accountable for their ridiculous activity. Trump is a criminal, and just like any other criminal, he is being fairly charged and tried. And if anyone has any sense up here in New York City, which I'm sure they do, he will be going to jail. So watch out Republicans, because you might not be too far behind. Because if not even former President Donald Trump can evade consequences, certainly none of the others at Fox News will either. Did you like this video? Then you'll love this next one where this MAGA grandma gets caught in a feud between Steve Bannon and Tucker Carlson. Click on that video on screen here and make sure to also check out my playlist below for a running list of my content. This is Adrian Costa The Breakdown. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.